Maestro K Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Today we will continue with that like uh, how to work with the emulator. Emulator is nothing but like uh, how to create the virtual mobile device. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. So what we discussed right in the last session, right, we talked about like right uh, to create this emulator. First thing is make sure that Java JDK is uh, downloaded and installed and second thing is download your Android SDK okay download your Android SDK this is what we discussed in the earlier session now now what we will do is right once this is done like download your Android SDK no installation is required for your Android SDK just download it and then when you download it it will be a zip file and extract to your specified file that means right download android sdk then it will be a zip folder it will be a zip folder a right click on it right click on it and unzip to specified folder wherever you want to unzip like you want to unzip to c drive d drive or whichever the folder you want just unzip your uh, android sdk to the specified folder fine once you have done this so yesterday i showed you like from where you can uh, download right you can download this from the link right let me show you that link and you can download this in the PC because we will be creating we will be creating virtual device in the PC only so you have to download this Android SDK from the link whatever what I am giving in the chart window right please download this uh, Android SDK and in your uh, PC because we are creating our virtual device in the PC only okay fine so download this Android SDK and then it will be a zip folder and once you are uh, done with your download no installation is required just unzip to the specified folder how to unzip right click on the zip folder and then say that unzip to specified folder you can download to C, D, whatever drive you want right now I have downloaded and unzip uh, unzip to my location okay fine now once you have downloaded right and unzip then you can see your uh, android sdk like this eclipse sdk and sdk manager you can see your uh, android sdk like this eclipse sdk and sdk manager now in this right eclipse is used by the developer and Eclipse is nothing but right simply we can say that it's editor where developers will write the programs that means if developer wants to write the Android application programs then they will use this Eclipse to write their programs okay Eclipse is the place where developers can write their programs so you can simply say that Eclipse is nothing but it's an editor it's an editor for the developers to write their programs that is your Eclipse and second one is SDK SDK is nothing but software development kit so this is the toolkit which is used by the team to perform your uh, Android activities so when you are developing your Android application you may need so many tools right? to develop Android application you may need so many tools and all the tools will be available under your SDK all the tools will be available under your SDK okay fine okay 
okay and one of the participant is asking whether it is downloading it is asking 32 bit or 64 bit right how to know that your machine is 32 bit or 64 bit yesterday i showed you like just go to your my computer so my computer right click on it and say that properties when you say that uh, my computer and properties then you can see that your machine is 32 bit or 64 bit you can download your uh, software accordingly okay now right uh, you can see that right all the uh, all the tools available under your uh, SDK okay now these are all the tools available under your SDK you may use like a few tools for your testing purpose as well right now and one more uh, option is SDK manager SDK manager is used right uh, SDK manager is used to manage all the packages okay for the time being what you can understand is right SDK manager is the place where you can maintain all the versions like which version you want to work you want to work with Android 2.3 Android 3.0 or Android 4.0 whichever the version you are planning to work so everything you can maintain with this SDK manager so SDK manager is the place where you can maintain all the versions meaning right say for example meaning what will happen is so say for example now right now right say for example I want to work with I want to work with Android 4.0 that means right then what you have to do you have to download the download the Android 4.0 package in the SDK manager that means then only it will allow you to create the emulator of Android 4.0 say for example I want to create Android 2.3 Android 2.3 virtual device then what you have to do is you have to download your Android 2.3 package in your SDK manager how you will download I will show you how to download how to install that package as and all I will tell you now first thing right we will understand that what is the importance of SDK manager SDK manager is used to maintain all the versions inside it now whichever the version you are planning to work before working make sure that that particular version is downloaded and installed that is important okay fine then okay now what you can do is now double click on this SDK manager double click on this SDK manager then it will open up your SDK manager and it will show you all the available versions in your Android like whatever the versions available in your Android everything it will show here now what you have to do is you have to install the required package now you can see everything here like Android 4.0 Android 2.3 and that 3.0 and right 4.2 so all the versions is available here now whichever the version you are planning to work whichever the version you are planning to create you have to install it then only it will allow you to create that version as a virtual device now <coughs> now you can see here all the devices are there all the versions are available which version you want to download tell me now I want to download Android 2.3 then what you have to do is you have to select this and you have to install that means right now you are installing your Android 2.3 once you are done with this installation then this software will allow you to create Android 2.3 virtual device so whichever the virtual device you are planning to create the first step what you have to do is you have to install that required packages okay now this is your personal machines right uh, don't install uh, more things 
right for the learning purpose install one or two devices install one or two packages if you want to install like uh, all the packages also it's fine it will allow only thing is if you install more packages that means right you are giving more space right then your machine will become little slow so what you can do is you can try to install the required packages whichever is required install it and say for example right right now i am working with android 2.3 you can install your Android 2.3 and after some time I'm done with Android 2.3 and I don't want to I don't want to work with Android 2.3 I want to work with some other version then what you can do same thing again you can click on it and then delete packages when you say that delete packages that means it will uninstall your installed packages right now for our learning purpose I already installed my 4.0, you can see that, Android 4.0, installed, 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 all installed. Just what you have to do is select this and if you want to install, click on this, but if you want to delete this, that means if you want to uninstall it, click on this, then it will uninstall it, okay. So this is how you can install and uninstall your packages. So I installed 4.0 for our learning purpose, right install one only don't go with like n number because right if you install like uh, more packages that means right you are giving more space then obviously your machine will become little slow okay so whichever the versions you are planning to install just select the checkbox and click on that install packages so that that particular uh, package will install in your machine and if you want to uninstall same thing whichever that install package Select that install package, click on delete so that that package will be uninstalled. Okay, done. So here, right, I installed 4.0 for our learning purpose. Then once the installation is successful, right, let me give you the steps also, okay, so that it will be easy. Okay, I will give you the steps also. Verify. Java JDK is available in the machine. If it is not available, download and install it. Download and install it. Okay. And then download extract download and extract Android SDK okay then right then go to Android SDK folder click on SDK manager Okay, then install the required packages. <coughs> install the required packages. Right, for example, for example, install the required packages. Now I will say that for example, Android 4.0. Install this. Just select that uh, package and uh, what you can do is you can say that uh, select that package and you can say that install package and it will install successfully once the installation is successful once the installation is successful then what you can do go to tools manage AVDs go to tools manage AVDs okay now what you can do is go to tools tools manage AVDs manage AVDs okay go to tools manage AVDs then what you can do is once you go to tools and manage AVDs then here right you can see your uh, virtual devices now here all the while I mean right all the virtual devices you created earlier you can see here and if you want to create your new